And while the crime scene tape has finally been lifted and police cars are gone, those who live in Modesto and in particular on the quiet court where the murders happened are still in shock. KCR3's Kristen Samo spoke with them about coping with this loss. A homicide in any community is disturbing. But a homicide involving three young children. Our children are so precious. And when someone would take a children's lives, there must be a monster. Neighbors walked by throughout the day trying to make sense of how anyone could commit such a horrible crime. Residents we spoke with say most neighbors on this street keep to themselves, even those who lived across the street from the victims. Yeah, sometimes I saw the man, like, you know, outside walking on the front yard. Yeah. And the children, you know, and the children, uh, they playing, you know, playing around the street, yeah. While it's still unknown who exactly lived in this home, we do know it's a crime that has shaken the whole community. Modesto Police Department's chaplain was brought out to provide support to anyone who needs it. I've actually spent some time with the neighbors here today, and they're concerned for their own safety. So I was giving them the reassurance that uh, they are safe, and that this was a specific case and it wasn't a random act. It's devastating. It's devastating not only to the families of the victims, but to the um, neighbors here as well and to our law enforcement community. As officers process what is no doubt a grisly crime scene, neighbors continue to process in their own way what could have happened in the quiet community they call home. And they tell us word that a suspect is in custody is a relief, but it doesn't take away the horror of what happened. We're relieved they found somebody. Uh, and we're kind of hoping that maybe this will lead to, you know, whoever committed this crime. In Modesto, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News. And Modesto police say this incident marks the city's 10th homicide this year.